Hello everyone, this is Rakesh here and once again welcome to the, my tutorials. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss three things. The first thing, introduction of the PLSQL series, how I am going to make the PLSQL series is and second thing, what exactly the PLSQL is and third thing, why exactly we require the PLSQL. So these are the three topics which I am going to discuss in this session. So let's begin with the very first topic which is nothing but your introduction of the PLSQL series. I will take the topics from the PLSQL and I will make a separate separate video of the each topic okay and I will give the assignment for the same also and the assignment link you can get in into the description box of the each uh, uh, topic and respective videos okay and one more thing I would like to tell about this series is uh, whatever the question you have you can put it into the comment box and I will try to reply within a 24 hours not even the 24 hours it will take within a 5 or 10 hours only I will reply it okay so don't forget to ask your question in the comment box now let's understand what exactly the PLS scale is so PLS scale is nothing but it's a programming language which is provided by the Oracle and in this we can write the multiple queries or multiple commands of the SQL. So that is nothing but your PLSQL. Now let's understand this with the help of one example. So let's say for example, I wanted to <coughs> insert, delete, update and commit, create all these commands I want to uh, run in one shot, in one session I wanted to run. Then what I need to do? I need to write a PLSQL uh, program okay so this is nothing but your PLSQL program or I can say that this is nothing but your PLSQL so let's say for example I wanted to uh, insert delete and update then what I need to do I need to write just one PLSQL block okay just like this and over here what I will do uh, and over here insert command I will write over here uh, delete command I will write over here okay create whatever the commands I can write uh, you wanted to write you can write it over here and this is same like other programming language uh, just like the C or C++ or Java and all stuff of course the difference will be there uh, some of the features uh, uh, will be very different in the PLSQL and which is not supported in the PLSQL but it is supported into the C or C++ because every programming language have their own features okay so over here what happens uh, this is a direct uh, database programming language I can say that but in the uh, if you will talk about the C or C++ or Java all these uh, programming language are not database uh, programming language so let me explain this with the help of one example so let's say for example if you wanted to communicate with the database okay then what you do you write the C or C++ program correct over here this is my C++ program now this C++ program wanted to communicate with the database this is my database wanted to communicate with the database then what this command or this uh, programming language needs to do it needs to contact the driver okay some kind of driver will be there depending upon the <coughs> programming language to programming language this driver will differ so this driver will contact to this uh, sorry this program will contact to this driver this driver will pass message to the database and again data will, will respond to the driver and driver again respond to the your SQL uh, whatever the programming language you have written or whatever the program you have written to that it will return okay so over here the uh, driver will come into the picture so guys another thing what I want to tell over here is uh, let's say for example I have written one PLSQL program okay PLSQL program so what it can do it can directly connect uh, connect with the database I do not need any intermediate driver or anything okay but of course this uh, this is the uh, database programming language uh, so there is no GUI uh, or HTML kind of uh, GUI interface will be provided so this is only to interact with the database okay 
so uh, over here what we can do in the plsql pl in the plsql program we can write the all the set of commands whatever the possible in the sql that commands we can write into the plsql along with that we have some additional features like if statement loop and uh, <coughs> printf statement so many statements are there so that is nothing but your plsql program okay guys so i will write some program in the upcoming videos so you will understand uh, what exactly the difference between the S uh, plsql program and the c++ program okay so let me summarize what exactly the plsql is plsql is nothing but it's a programming language which is provided by the oracle for the database okay so that is nothing but your plsql now guys over here you can question that why exactly we required the plsql so guys i would like to explain this with the help of one example so let's say for example my requirement is very simple i wanted to increment the salary from the employee table by the certain percentage depending upon the rating okay maybe uh, four rating uh, uh, you wanted to give the 20 percent five rating you wanted to give the 30 percent like that you wanted to give and those who has get the one rating those employees you wanted to fire means you wanted to insert into the fire table so this kind of requirement you have then what exactly you need to do you need to update the uh, salary from the employee table and you need to insert record into the uh, fire table correct so you have two commands you need to execute along with that you need to commit also so you cannot achieve this with the help of normal sql so what you need to do you need to go with the plsql program in which you have certain logic based upon the uh, rating you will apply the uh, uh, if and else conditions and then you will increment and then you will update it so over here how, how many commands you need to write it over here so you need to write over here uh, select a statement correct the first thing what you need to write select a statement because you wanted to get the employee record from this employee table also correct for that you need to write the select after that what exactly you need to do you need to update also correct for those employees who has get the good rating now after that what you need to do you need to insert that record into the fire table correct so these are the three commands now i have performed the dml operation so i need to uh, do the commit also correct commit also i need to do so how many commands at least i need to execute in one shot i need to execute this all these commands in one shot four commands correct and over here i need to apply the if and else conditions also correct because based upon the rating only i need to uh, take a decision uh, what exactly the command or um, what exactly the uh, thing i need to do correct so that is the reason uh, we have to go with the plsql now this i wanted to explain with the help of one more example so let's say for example you have one more requirement uh, in which you have the c++ program or java program and from that program you wanted to call some function okay you wanted to call some function which will do the insert delete update commit create all these things it will do so how you can do you can do it with the help of plsql program so what exactly you need to do you need to write the plsql program and you need to call that plsql program into the c or c plus plus whatever the program you have written in that you need to call now last example uh, uh, if i will ask you uh, saying that boss give me the uh, some of the all the salary from the employee table then what you do you simply write select uh, sum and then in the bracket salary and then from employee table correct so over here what is the sum sum is nothing but a plsql program which internally what it will do it will select all the records uh, from the employee table one by one and it will keep on adding and at the last it will give the sum of the all the salaries okay guys so this is what the plsql and this is why we require the plsql i hope you have understood now let me summarize what exactly the plsql is plsql is nothing but it's a programming language for the database and why we required the plsql because we wanted to execute all the commands or whatever the commands we have in one shot or in one session then we have to go with the 
PLSQL program. So that is the reason we require the PLSQL program. So I hope you have understood why exactly and what exactly the PLSQL program is. Thank you so much for watching for the video. Bye bye. Take care.